So before we start the video, everybody, I want to get some housekeeping out of the way. Please, 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 if you can, watch the video all the way through. Uh, this helps us in the YouTube search rankings and helps us beat the algorithm so that we can be recommended to other people. Also, uh, if you really enjoy the content, please like uh, and possibly think about subscribing to the channel. Uh, that definitely helps our numbers greatly and helps other people see, again, the channel and beat the algorithm. So just remember this. And again, thank you, everybody, for clicking on the video. And thank you for watching. Let's get into it. So according to Cosmic Book News, production on Black Panther 2, Wakanda Forever, uh, has resumed. Uh, I guess that Letitia Wright uh, has resolved her uh, injuries and recovered. And I guess she's also resolved whatever... Uh, back and forth that her and the production team were having about uh, her and the coof and, you know, vaccinations or whatever. But that's not really the story here. What is the story here is that according to Cosmic Book News, uh, there seems to be some new developments. And I kind of figured that this was going to happen because as much as I do like Letitia Wright, I've, I've liked her in her episode of Black Mirror, I've liked her in other things, but we knew that with the passing of Chadwick Boseman, she couldn't carry a movie. And that's not a knock on her. She just doesn't have the name recognition. She doesn't have the recognition, period, to really be able to carry this franchise, which to date has had one of the best domestic openings of any movie and definitely of any Marvel movie. So this uh, news was honestly, I honestly saw this coming. So essentially there will... According to Cosmo Book News, and this is a rumor, so we're going to take this with a grain of salt, but I'm pretty sure that this is accurate given um, the contract negotiations. But it says, uh, The Hollywood Reporter also offers an interesting tidbit about Winston Duke, who plays M'Baku. As it's said, Duke negotiated a hefty raise for his return to Black Panther 2. Due to what is being described as an expanded role in the Black Panther mythos, but while the site says what that expansion is, is, uh, is unclear. It's been rumored the movie will feature two versions of Black Panther. One played by Letitia Wright and one played by Winston Duke. Now see, this, this definitely tracks because Winston Duke's M'Baku character was definitely the standout in the uh, first film. Especially considering that even though I do enjoy the first film, let's be honest. Uh, Chadwick Boseman's Black Panther character was not prominent in the movie, not not like he should have been. Uh, instead, he kind of took a backseat to world building and, you know, the dearth of side characters that uh, were in the film. And one of those side characters was Winston Duke Mbaku. So, you know, to make that movie, I think, a little bit more marketable, having Mbaku play a, a different Black Panther then Letitia Wright's Black Panther definitely makes a lot of sense, uh, especially considering that now, you know, if, even if you are playing the representation game, um, you know, you have now a male and a female uh, or a duality when it comes to the Black Panther. Now, we still don't know what exactly uh, Ryan Coogler has in store for us because uh, especially given the events of the first film, we know that the heart-shaped herb has been destroyed. There is no vestiges of the heart-shaped herb left uh, because the character Eric Killmonger, played by Michael B. Jordan, burned them all. And we also are aware that the villain in this film may end up being Namor the Submariner. So having two Black Panthers to take uh, care of such a powerful opponent in Namor the Submariner definitely makes a lot of sense. So, I mean, you know, this this could be good. This, you know, this definitely gives me a little bit of hope because I really wasn't too hopeful being that, you know, Marvel and Kevin Feige had already vowed not to uh, recast Chadwick Boseman's Black Panther or T'Challa because, um, you know, of just respect for the family, respect for the fans, even though Chadwick's family has given uh, the okay for that character to be recast. So, I mean... This seems like it could go somewhere. It might be for the best, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, so let me know how you guys feel in the comments below. Do you feel like this is a good direction for 
uh, Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever? Or do you feel like this may end up uh, just, you know, crashing and burning on arrival? Hit me up in the comments. Let us know what you think. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. 8-Bit Heroes out. Peace.